I'm crazy. 90 Day Fiance has a new couple planning to risk it all and move halfway across the world for love. The catch is, only half of that couple knows about the plan. And of course, we have our weekly dose of yikes and oh no. I say you are ugly, you are very bad. So let's get into it. 90 Day Fiance Before the 90 Days, Season 6, Episode 6. I'm Anna Rumor and this is Pop Culture Social Call. Let's start with our new couple, the self-described kinky AF Statler, who plans to leave her Texas home to live with girlfriend Dempsey in the UK, all without telling her. Now, these two have been together for seven months after meeting on a dating app, and Statler admits she didn't exactly tell Dempsey that their first meeting in person is a lot more serious than she knows. Then I'll just move there. And does she know your plan? She's not aware. While Statler has concerns that Dempsey's more vanilla sexual taste won't match hers, she's ignoring all suggestions that maybe it's the pace of the relationship that's the biggest current issue. Oh, and also the fact that she tried to do this exact thing before, to the UK, with her ex of a year ago, who recently reached out to try and get back together again. Nothing like moving to a brand new country and already having an ex there. Maybe she can grab coffee with Christian and Cleo too. They're in the UK after Christian traveled all the way from Minnesota to give his girlfriend a bunch of mixed signals about whether or not he's attracted to her. Seriously, like I slept like 10 minutes on the plane. Of course. Cleo is feeling insecure as Christian seems to be working through his own issues about dating a trans woman, but I don't know, it's so tough to watch. I do hope I'm just overthinking, but it will be worrying if this doesn't change within, you know, a day. Speaking of tough to watch though, Jasmine and Gino. These two are a hot mess in so many ways and Jasmine is adding hypocrisy to the list as she sneaks away to video chat with her ex-boyfriend and current neighbor Dane all about the issues that she and Gino have been having. If you're thinking Jasmine wouldn't be okay with Gino doing this with an ex, you're right. I'm more trustworthy than he is. And it all blows up during a night out with Jasmine's friends, which started with awkward sex toy talk and ended with Gino confronting Jasmine about lying about her ex. Imagine what Jasmine would do if I told her I was friends with my ex. She would blow a nut. They're not the only ones with trust issues, though. David and Sheila certainly had a good first night together. Thanks for that visual, David. You just ruined breakfast for everyone. But Sheila has trust issues, and while David let her look through his phone, no problem, he knows this kind of jealousy could mean the end for them. And Riley and Violet also have jealousy issues. Everyone on this show, I swear. I really don't get these two in their relationship. Like, are they having fun at all? Barely the bone, you know. Certainly not after Violet received a shirtless picture of her male friend, which really set Riley off when she basically told him, buzz off, I just met you when he tried to question her about it. You liar. You lie. Plus, he forgot a gift for her mom. Like, are you kidding me? And that was our weekly dose of dumpster fire. So let me know what you think in the comments. Like and subscribe where you're there. Head over to popculture.com for the latest in entertainment news. Until next time, I'm Anna Rumor, and this is Pop Culture Social Call. Pop